Hello, dear Primary 5 students. Today, we are going to have Unit 3 in your book, Time for English. I hope you like this lesson. We are going to go around the house. Let's go to slide 2. Now, as you see, this boy is very gentle. He's trying to help his mother. Let's see what's going to go on. Let me help you, Mom. Thanks. Be careful. It's heavy. No problem. I'm strong. Yes, you are. Help! Watch out. Are you okay? I think so. But look at my skateboard. We are going to read again the conversation here. Or you may do it with your friend or with your brother or sister here. Let me help you, mom. Thanks. Be careful. It's heavy. No problem. I'm strong. Yes, you are. Help. Watch out. Are you okay? I think so, but look at my skateboard. Oh, the skateboard is the one is not strong, I think. Now, let's go to the language function here. For asking about someone on the phone. When you call someone on the phone, you say, Hello, is Sam there? So, if it's the, the number, it's the right one, he's going to see, he's going to tell you, Yes, uh, just a moment, please, something like this. But maybe it's a wrong number. So, the answer should be like this I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Let's go to slide four. It's your word time. Number one, make the bed. Number two, feed the pets. Number three, sweep the floor. It means to clean it with water. Number four, take out the rubbish. Number five, do the laundry. It means that you have to clean your clothes. Number six, Hang up the clothes. Number eight, set the table. And number seven, sorry, we have to say seven before eight, so it's okay. Number seven, put away the groceries. Then number eight, put the, uh, set the table. Now let's move to slide five. Again, we're going to have the past simple tense, but this time we are going to see together how we can form a question. If you have the, t the sentence in the, in the past form and it's not starting with yes or no, so this means that you have to start your question with the, the WH word. What, when, where, who, whose, how. So, we have ex our example here. The sentence is, she swept the floor. So, you have to underline your verb. Your verb here is swept. It means that you are going to use the helping verb in the past, which is did. So, when you ask, you have to start with, what did she do? So, your form for the question, number one, WH question, then the word, then did. And the personal pronoun that you have, then the verb in the stem. And now let's move to slide six. Here we are going to ask questions in the past and we are going to answer it in the past also because the question should have did, we are going to answer in the past. Look and form questions and their answers in the past. Number one, we have here the picture here. She do and we have make the bed so the question should be what did she do when you are going to answer you have to say she made the bed why did we change make into made because we have to answer in the past tense because the question was in the past number two he do then we have feed the pets so, the question should be, what did he do? And the answer, he fed the pets. 
So the past form of feed is fed. Number three, you do put away the groceries. So the question should be, what did you do? And the answer, you, uh, sorry, when you ask someone with you, you answer with I. I put away the groceries. And you have to realize here that put is the same in the present and in the past. The same pronunciation, the same spelling. Number four, she do do the laundry. So the question should be, what did she do? The answer is, she did the laundry. The past of the verb do is did. And number five and number six, please, I want you to do it by your own as a practice. Now I'm going to reread this one. What did she do? She made the bed. I'm going to slide seven to read it. What did she do? She made the bed. Number two, what did he do? He fed the pets. Number three, what did you do? I put away the groceries. Number four, oh, I'm going to tell you the answer, so it's okay. What did she do? She did the laundry. Number five, what did they do? They took out the rubbish. Now we are going to move to slide eight. And you are going to see the phonics time here. So, sometimes I pronounce ed as ed, and sometimes I pronounce it as id. So, let's see. Number one here, I have dusted. So, in which uh, time I pronounce it ed or id? Yes, I pronounce it ed. It's dusted. Number two, greeted. Okay. Huh. Invented, planted, waited, weeded. So we have greeted and weeded. We pronounce it as id, but the, the others we pronounce them as ed. So this is all for today. Nice to be with you and hope to see you soon in our new lesson. Thanks.